how this process varies by school, say University of Maryland, which is uh, where I live near, and Stanford, the admissions process varies based on two main variables, and that's usually the size and its selectivity. So larger schools usually receive tens and thousands, tens of thousands of applicants each year. And, they, and that really means that they spend less time reviewing each application. So sometimes in bigger colleges, they employ algorithms. Just like think of social media with your Instagram algorithm, people seeing your posts and not seeing your posts. But they use these algorithms and computer programs to screen applicants' academic profile. So right off the bat, if you're not meeting that academic profile, boom, your trash is most likely going out of the algorithm. Not going, it's not going to even be reviewed. Okay, so at these particular schools, admission officers will only review the extracurricular profile and essays of students who make it through the algorithmic, algorithmic academic screening. So colleges with higher admission rates often assign a large number of applicants, up to 80%, to either bucket one, who are likely to be accepted, and bucket four, likely to be rejected. All right, all right, so this pretty much leaves only 20% of the applicant pool, pool to receive a full holistic application review, all right? But on the other hand, more selective colleges do not accept based on academics alone. So these applicants' test scores and grades can see, what is it? did you hear that? Ding, ding, ding. Test scores and grades can help them get past the initial academic screening. And they won't be able to earn the applicant, they won't be enough, they won't be enough to earn the applicant an acceptance letter to an institution with a low acceptance rate. So basically, a highly selective institution, and we're talking about highly selective means their acceptance rate is less than 50, most likely less than 25%. All applicants who meet a basic standard are likely to receive holistic application reviews. 